So it's one week before the Six Pillar Century. I'm gonna go out today because it's just beautiful. I don't really feel like riding. Kind of was looking for someone to ride with, maybe do a casual ride. I don't know why. Lately I've got this kind of meh feeling about riding, but I'm gonna go out and ride because I know that after I ride the endorphins will kick in and I will feel better. It's a beautiful day. It's it's like 70 degrees, but it's pretty breezy. It's pretty windy today. So don't know how that'll affect the ride. Shouldn't affect it too much in the velo. So taking out the eyeball 2.0, the red one. Still not sure if it's going to be called the eyeball 2.0 or what. Just not sure yet. I think I think it's going to have to grow on me. I might even have to change the graphics a little bit. But all right, going to take a little bit of ride here and. We'll just go out and tool around and see what's going on. Look at my flowers. Those were not planted by me. They were planted by the previous owner, but I haven't killed them yet, so that's good. Okay, gang, right off the bat, it's amazing if you have the right amount of air pressure and a Reese strut. Hear that? No chain dragging because it's in the right position. Thanks, guys, to whoever helped me with that one. I think I pumped it up to about 80 psi, and before it had like eight because when I pumped it up, the velo raised up, so I thought it was good. Now it's good. Okay, that was the first time for very unusual sound in the velo, any velo. Felt like something was rubbing in the wheel well and I couldn't turn very well without hearing this rubbing. Turns out I picked up a twig and it was lodged right up in the front of the wheel well, so nothing to be alarmed about. But it was a good time to take a break, just climbed a hill, getting ready to go back through Dory Park. Don't let people tell you that wind isn't a factor in a velomobile because it's still a human powered vehicle and it's a factor. It's really windy out here today and I've been traveling into the wind the whole time. Now, mind you, I have not been really trying and I've been kind of taking it easy, but I only got 13 miles in 45 minutes. So, that's not very good. I'll try and pick up the pace here as the tailwind goes home with me. You relaxing? I am relaxing, yes. Yeah, you don't move. Oh, I'll start pedaling here in a minute.
right then. Whew. Finished with 25. Yes, that's only one quarter of what I'm gonna do on the ride next weekend. I'm amazed, this battery still has four out of five lights left in it. And I've used it a lot. Every time I go out on a ride, I ride with the headlight on. And it's still charged up really well. Ended up being a really good ride. Some things to report. With the Reese shock pumped up to, what is it, 80 PSI, 80 or 90 PSI, I think is what I have it. The ride was a whole lot stiffer, so the back didn't feel so mushy, I think for obvious reasons. Hour and 23 minutes for 25 miles. I don't know what the average moving speed is, but it was probably closer to 19 or so. The headwind today, whoo wee. Glad I wasn't on my open trike because the headwind today was just killer. One of the things that I'm gonna try, I think before next weekend, is I don't use the level roof. So I think I'm gonna take the two mounts for the level roof, the two mounts that are on, on the Quest. And I think what I'm gonna do is make some kind of windshield, maybe use those as fasteners to kind of hold it in. So I don't have to put any Velcro or anything out there. I can keep it clean, but I can have just a little bitty windshield out there. I think that's just what I need. I just don't like the air hitting me bright in the face, which as it comes up over the top of Velo hits me right in the face and it seems to dry me out a lot. And I know when I rode with my yellow one, if you remember, it had the windshield that went here. Um, and I could adjust it a little bit, but it kept the wind from hitting me directly in the face and it didn't seem to be, I didn't feel so beat up after the ride. I have a little bit of Lexan left over from when I did the Wim Shermer hood. Very uneventful, traffic was good. Most of the places traffic was light except when I was down by Dory Park when everybody's outside going to Dory Park. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching, until next time, cheers.